Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to this channel on this beautiful warm day. It's supposed to kiss 90. Wow, incredible weather we're having here up in New Hampshire. Anyways, today, uh, welcome to the channel. My name's Jay. We live on an 18 acre heavily wooded homestead. And yes, today's video we're going to talk about is a sub compact tractor all you need. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Roll the intro. Right, everybody if you like that intro i invite you to subscribe to the channel here we have a ton of fun here anyways like i've been doing i would like to thank a good uh, i'd like to thank a good subscriber of mine bill richards um last video with the fluid film or the video before the fluid film with the outdoor boiler i believe he's the one that actually recommended that to me last year so thank you bill it finally came to fruition tuition fruition whatever the term is anyways thanks bill for always tuning and leaving a comment appreciate your support anyways let's get right into it so today we're going to run the kubota bx24 we're going to spread some dirt in our carport here this is where we keep our wood splitter our tractor our four-wheeler our firewood carts all that good stuff the problem is is that dirt is so dry in there every time i pull in and pull out an implement it's super dusty and number two spreading the rocks won't dry out the tires as much uh, having your equipment sit on dry ground that sucks the moisture right out of the tires there So laying some gravel down will help that so anyways, let's get right into it show you what we got We're gonna talk a little bit and explain why I truthfully believe a sub Subcompact tractor is all you need. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, everybody So this is our leftover pile of rocks We use some rocks on to fix the big holes in the driveway from the winter time. We also use uh, Rocks I'll attach a video of that link in another video. We did a little parking pad for the equipment but anyways, here is our inside of our carport. As you can see, hopefully camera does justice. It is super, super dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the tractor up, we're gonna pull the tractor out, we're gonna pull the wood splitter out, we're gonna um, we're gonna spread some stone. So yeah, let me clean up a little bit. We'll throw you guys on the, the uh, tractor, we'll do a little time lapse, and then I'll narrate over why. I truthfully believe, depending on what you're doing, a subcompact tractor is pretty much all you really need on your property. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, let's get into it. I'm doing a little voiceover here, so hopefully the audio is good. Um, I've been trying out an iPad for editing. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen any quality difference. Um, in that it's, it uh, exports at 1080 so all the video should still be in 1080 so let me know if that's changed but anyways let's get back into the subcompacts this Kubota here um, what I'm doing here is just pulling the rocks away from the uh, there's a little bit of a ravine there and the guy the dump truck that dumped the rocks kind of dumped it pretty far back so in the beginning there I was just trying to pull them away um, so they wouldn't roll down the ravine but Anyways, a subcompact tractor, honestly, if you're just going to do like snow removal, rocks, grass, dirt, they are really stout, solid machines. Um, implements are obviously going to be cheaper. I love my Kubota BX. I'm not, you know, saying Kubota makes the best tractor on the planet, but super easy to work on. The motors are very durable. I'm a mechanic by trade, so I love being able to work on my own stuff. So. That's a plus for me, but um, unless you're lifting bales of hay, IBC totes full of water, I mean, full length um, trees, I don't do any of that here on the homestead. I use the four wheeler in the uh, Polar HD cart um, as my, that's my main primary um, firewood source. Um, I don't bring my Kubota out in the woods because A, I don't have the trails for it, and B, um, it's just, yeah, I just haven't got to that point yet. Um, I'm comfortable with a four-wheeler in the cart, so I don't know. I just want to interject here. Um, again, it all just depends on your situation, what's available near you or what's available to buy. Um, I have a 400-foot driveway. I use this for snow removal. As long as you keep up with it, I mean, you're not going to push a four-foot snowbank, but um, if you keep up with the snow as it's falling, it's a really great machine. So I can't knock subcompact tra tractors. They're stout. You can mow with them. They take up less space. They're less turning radius. There's pros and cons to anything, but here on the homestead, if you guys want to check out some other videos, I do a ton of stuff uh, around here, and I've gotten by with this Kubota. Yeah, it needs some love. It's got a cracked hood. The cowl's cracked. 
all the plastic on it is very very uh, fragile if you guys didn't notice so um, the machine just works it's a workhorse I mean it's strong it's powerful when I bought this machine I got uh, bucket forks clamp on bucket forks um, I got a backhoe and a bunch of implements so I can't complain so anyways let's play some music let's get into it <laughs> Folks, well, let's have a look. I did some, uh, I did some hand spreading with the rake just to kind of. I'm not a professional with the tractor, um, so it's not completely flat. So I just did a little hand brush with the broom. But this will be nice to park the stuff on. That way I can come in and out. Also, too, like when the wind blows in, too. Uh, when the wind comes in, I leave the doors open now because it's summertime, uh, and I just want to get massive airflow in here. Um, last. The last few years I've left the doors shut um, for whatever reason get super super hot in here so at least with the doors open I get some wind in here but a lot of times the wind would blow and it would be a dust storm in here and all the all the all the machines would be covered in dust so took 10-15 uh, minutes with the tractor to spread it now we have a nice relatively level base to park all the equipment on and there's gonna be no more dust so anyways that's that um, 
I, I already kind of talked a little bit about a subcompact tractor, but more or less just to wrap up, if you're not lifting anything super heavy, like if you if you have a sawmill, you're gonna need something that with a little bit more lift capacity. Um, but for me, for example, I do all my firewood with the four wheeler and the firewood, the Polar uh, firewood cart. I don't use the tractor for firewood. I just use the tractor for dirt, mulch, and stone. If that's all you're gonna be doing, Another thing, another thing to consider too is that uh, implements. I got this Kubota BX with a box blade, York rake, um, clamp on forks. What else do I have here? The backhoe, a canopy, and a ballast box that I've never used. I've actually never used the ballast box or the York rake. I think I'm going to put the York rake on and give it a shot. But, anyways, if you're not lifting anything super heavy like logs for like a sawmill or you have this huge heavily wooded property that you have roads through you might need a little bit more lift capacity but if you're just doing stone mulch grass work occasionally moving some firewood around i don't know if you can get a subcompact tractor with a bunch of implements for the price of a you know a, a regular compact tractor with no implements you might be better off. I've made do with the Kubota BX24 for the last five years, so. Could I use more lift capacity? Sure, because now I'm getting more into the serious firewood and I want to start doing firewood jobs and stuff. So if I had a bigger tractor that lifted more, obviously that would help in the future. But for now, like I said, if you're not lifting logs um, and you're just doing stone, grass, you can mow with these. You can put bush hogs on these. So I don't know, I'm not advocating you know if you can afford a bigger tractor sure but i've gotten i've done fine with the kubota bx24 for the last uh five years so that's just my two cents um uh, i love it it's a stout little machine it may not lift a lot but it can push like hell that machine can push that low gear with the hydrostatic that thing can really really push for a small tractor so anyways i'm gonna wrap up and do a little bit more hand raking and pull all the stuff back in. We're going to move on to the next project. So, yes, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what tractor you have in the comments below. And, yeah, like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.